Welcome back, guys. It is yet another day. This is the third day I'm working on the Civic. Um, I mean, if once I upload the second video, you guys will see that we failed to get the car to start. Yeah, um, very disappointing. I was very, like, sad after that. I was like, man, I did all this work. There's an oil leak, and the car doesn't start. Like, what could it be? So, talked to my friend, and he said that, um, he said that, uh, they had the timing has to be off because I got the an engine code P1361. So that's the camshaft sensor or something like that. So timing's off. That's probably the only thing keeping it from starting. And there's an oil leak. But that was my fault. I forgot to put the cam seal in one of the videos. When I'm assembling the, the head outside of the car on the table over there, um, I forgot to put the cam seal. So you guys are going to see that mess up real bad. Um, so there's oil just freaking everywhere like that. I don't know if you guys can see it like right there oh my gosh but yeah um so today I'm going to AutoZone I'm gonna get the cam seal uh pick up some fish food for my fish and then come home and get back to work on the car um you know I have high hopes we got a lot of time I'm not gonna waste it and uh, just get back to working on it so yeah I'm um, sorry if the quality of the video is kind of shaky and bad. I mean, I am using my phone to film all this, so um, uh, I still have to save up for a uh, regular video camera. But yeah, this has been the biggest project I've ever like performed so far, and uh, yeah, well, let's get to it. Taking out the cam. Alright guys, so this was the seal that I forgot. We got it from AutoZone. Uh, camshaft seal, oil seal. We're gonna go ahead and put that in, but right now we're also gonna get food for the fish. Right, so we got the fish food, and we got the dechlorination thing for the... Oh! Alright, pause that. Uh, yeah, dechlorination thing for the water, and he told me don't change out all the water at the same time. I mean, I kind of accidentally did the last time, so <laughs> I hope the fish is okay. But yeah, we got this, and we got the gasket. That's what we needed. Let's head back home, start working on the car after I feed the fish. Oh, come on. He needs like two more pellets. Oh, there. Never mind. Some behind them. Okay, we're good. All right, guys. So we're about to get started right now. Um, I'm going to take everything apart again just to install that oil seal. And um, yeah, I mean, I don't need to film that because you guys already saw me take it apart once. So I'll just go ahead and skip to that part in a sec. All right, guys. So I've been able to remove everything uh, up until the timing belt and now the cam is able to move freely um so there is so once i remove this gear that i can replace the seal behind this that's something i didn't do when i first installed the, the head on the on the block so you know oil was like like spilling all over the floor so we're gonna go ahead and remove this cam gear right now just gonna hold it there like that There we go. Here's our cam gear. So if you look closely, this will show you how to time it. It says 
up right here. So this notch needs to be aligned with the top of the head. And that's a notch right here. You see that notch right there. And then what you see here is focus one notch there and one notch exactly on the other side. Wow, well, focus over here. Hello. So yeah, this notch and this notch have to be level with the top of the block right here where the valve cover sits. So one notch here and the other notch on the other side. That's how it goes. There we go. This is the one that either is not installed properly or has a leak. But I already bought a new one anyway, so I'm going to throw the new one in. I'm pretty sure because now my timing belt is all oily. So, like, I got to spray that down with some brake clean. But, like, a timing belt wasn't, it's not supposed to get oily at all whatsoever. So, you know. Here we have it, the new seal. Out with the old and in with the new. Focus, dang it, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and slip it in. Let's take our 32 millimeter socket the diameter of this is about the same as that. Ah, oh, darn. Well, it doesn't even fit on because ABS is in the way. I guess we'll just have to hit it. What I, what I wanted to do is hit it in evenly from all sides because this fits the circumference of the... Let's see right here. Hit it in like that. So I just put it on like that. Let's give it a good couple of wax. It should have gone in, but since it's not going in like that, we'll just use a flathead and go carefully all the way around. So. side again all right so yeah this is on pretty solid let's see how the gear fits yeah that's pretty solid too i'd say but since this gear is all oily and slippery let's hit it with some brake fluid that we have finished with the cam gear it's time to put it back on so let's get it in there zoom all right i'm gonna put the cam gear on and we're gonna bolt it back down all right nice and snug hand always always hand thread it make sure it goes in smoothly all right, so I checked some uh, torque specs, torque spec sheet. We need to torque that uh, camshaft gear pulley, or yeah, pulley down to 27 foot-pounds. So I have it set, torques, foot-pounds, and then after the 25, I added two, so 27. Tighten it up and we should be good to go. What? All right, I guess already hand torqued it to 27 foot pounds. 
seems like that's not much at all. What the hell? What else is 20? Is this 27 foot pounds? I guess it is. Is this 27 foot pounds? Oh, that's too tight. Alright, what about this? Alright, I'm gonna break that. What the heck? It feels so light. Oh man. Alright, whatever. I guess it's torqued down then. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna retime the engine. I have to put that top dead center and then I have to put the bottom at top dead center. So yeah, we're gonna try this one more time and hopefully it's the last time. But I know for sure now it's not gonna leak anymore because that was a big fuck up on my part. So yeah, that oil leak is now resolved. Well, maybe I shouldn't speak too early because we, you know, but hopefully it's resolved. Now we got to retime the engine. All right, looks better. I say we put the car together and let's uh, turn on, turn on, turn on, turn on. I'm so excited for it to turn on. All right, so now that I have everything back together, well, not everything back together, but now that I have the cam gear back on, torque to 27 foot pounds, um i've properly timed the belt i made sure the notches were in place along with the crankshaft and the cam seal for the oil is now in place so no more leaks and this thing should start up So I've gotten to the point where right now the everything is put together except for the intake and uh, the power steering. But we don't necessarily need those to turn on the car. Alternator's hooked up. Um, I still need to plug in the spark plugs. But I want to see if the car turns on where it is right now. And I pray that it does. So let's just put in the fine tuning. Uh, fine yeah. so I can't speak right now. I'm so excited finishing touches and see if this car turns on. I'll be so happy if it does. Beating fast. I sure hope this works.
Hmm. Doesn't want to do it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. I know they're long, they're 22 minutes long, but I do explain how I do everything in the video. Keep in mind, this is also my first time doing all this stuff to my engine, and I'm very thankful that you guys are, are watching through it. Um, so, uh, it was at this point in the video, um, man, what was I doing? So I just finished changing the seal for the camshaft, for the, the oil seal, and I finished uh, cleaning up the mess on the ground because, you know, there's so much oil mess. And I tried starting the car, and it just didn't start, you know. I don't know what's wrong with it. I, I, I got my hopes up. I was so excited to get this car up and running today, but, you know, it just it didn't work out. So, you know, I guess it's just time for another another day to try and keep uh keep trying to see if we can get this engine up and running again because it, it gets frustrating but you know i'm really looking forward to see if i can see her back on the street again just driving hers oh that's something i i'm like so excited to do right now I'm tired of driving other people's cars you know so um yeah thank you guys for watching and making it this far I do plan to keep uploading as soon as these edit videos are done being edited and as I make progress on the car, hopefully. So please stay tuned for that as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice day. Peace.